Uh, Emily joins us now live from central London. Well, how very lovely to see Hello. you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. So, Thanks well, for having me, You're guys. more than welcome, more than welcome. Where, where were you when you got the call? What were you working on when they said, OK, how about this as an idea? Well, hilariously, I think I was about to play a blackout drunk in Girl on the Train <laughs> when I got approached <laughs> about Mary Poppins. <laughs> That's brilliant. So I was in Los Angeles and Rob Marshall called me and I knew there was something quite big coming down the pipe because he ha had such, it was such a charged voicemail that he left. It was like, Emily, you gotta call me back. And I was like, oh my God, what is it? You know, didn't ever think it would be Mary Poppins, but of course, just completely overjoyed and overwhelmed that it was. That must be the best phone call ever to receive. Or oh, scary though, that's gotta be a scary phone call. And you think, right, okay, this is, <laughs> this is about as iconic as it gets. Yeah. Sure. It's like either he's doing, he's asking me to be James Bond or <laughs> Mary Poppins. It's sort of, I don't, I, 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 I was just really shocked and really, um, but I think quite quickly my thrill at playing her overwhelmed the fear, you know, because it is such iconic territory that you're walking into. But I think it's that excitement of trying to create my own version of her, really. So iconic. Well, well so much so that you, you didn't watch the original film. We hadn't watched it since you were a little one. Is that right? True. So I, I have a very sort of profound memory of it. I'm sure I saw it at like five or six and was spellbound by it, like, like the rest of the world, sort of the first film that a lot of people saw. Um, but I just felt that I didn't want to be more than anything, sort of intimidated by what Julie Andrews did. So I just read the books, and she is quite different in the books, and really eccentric and weird and funny. And so um, I did tend to sort of go that direction. Well, it, uh, it, it's stunning. Um, and uh, uh, is reflected in Thank the you. awards so far, nominations for Golden Globe, nomination for SAG Award uh, for you. So... Um, Anyone who goes and sees this next Friday will not be disappointed because uh, because it's beautiful. What's well, nice also, you. it's not not all CGI because there's quite a bit of animatronic work there. So you must have, as an actress, you've actually got things that you can play with. Yes, I mean, I think that that was the key, was that we really wanted to do a as much as possible for things to be practically um, captured and Perfect less every way. green screen, because I think... <laughs> Well, yes, <laughs> exactly. But I think with green screen, you know, you can become sort of anaesthetised to things. It, it, it can leave you feeling quite cold. And, and so my umbrella was an actual animatronic umbrella that sort of winked and moved its head and talked. And I didn't get to keep that one. I, I, I did steal one of the other umbrellas, but they wouldn't let me take the animatronic one. I think that's like a museum piece now. <laughs> but so, I'm in a big role, as, as we know, got nine new songs. Mm. So there's something special I would have thought if you're going to be Mary yeah. Poppins, that you're the first person to sing those yeah. songs. But also, was it, was it the dancing that for you was the, 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 the stretch, the challenge? Yes, for sure. I mean, it was... The singing was less daunting because I had done it on Into the Woods and I'd worked with Rob Marshall before and I, I also worked on the songs for about a year before we even started rehearsing. Um, so that was less daunting, but the dancing, we had about nine weeks of rehearsals to rehearse those. I mean, we rehearsed the whole film, but those huge show-stopping numbers, you know, did take a bit of work. I think I made the mistake of learning them initially wearing trainers and then you have yes. to have to do it in your heels <laughs> and you go and you go from thinking oh my god i'm an amazing dancer to thinking i'm a dreadful dancer <laughs> yeah. like that it's like, a different ball game it's a different <laughs> ball game isn't it did you um did you say that yeah uh, <laughs> what's yeah. so spectacular uh, and and there's, there's one guy dick van dyke amazes me at the age that he is how sprightly and young he still looks mm. it's quite extraordinary did you have a bit of a moment when you were sitting by the side of him Yes, he was so oh, magical and we all just sat around him and just wanted him to tell us about the first film and he was always dancing and entertaining the crew and and he was just having a moment where he sat there and then he just 
there was a pause in the conversation. He just leant across and he took my hand and he goes, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. And I was like, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I'm like, Dick, that's so beautiful. That is just... It was so special. What a great that's moment. So well, it's a, it's, a, it's a brilliant cast. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the costumes are stunning. The spectacle is great. It's just what you want it to be. So you must be sitting there thinking, oh, thank God for that, it's worked. <laughs> Yes, for sure. I mean, I think there's a sense of relief for all of us, but we all love the film so much. We're, we think it's beautiful. We're really proud of it. But it's it's obviously a relief when it's sort of universally people feel the same. Well, thank you very thank much you indeed. So Have much. a lovely Christmas. Thank I know you're going to be busy promoting this, but it's uh, released uh, next Friday. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, and it is well worth seeing. It's, yes. it's absolutely lovely. Thank you very much thank for talking you, to Emily. us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you.